answer to last video's question, challenge question. You might think that taking the rook on a1 with our bishop on g7 is a good idea, but since we are already down so much material, we have to do something else. So, we have to take this bishop, then when his queen takes, we take his knight, and after he takes back, a rook might soon get captured, so we have to check the king. After black plays king f1, black can take the pawn on h3. And after the king moves, we can now play bishop takes a1. As you can see, we are now up a point. Today, I will be showing you some traps that you can use as white or black in the queen's gambit. The queen's gambit is when after white plays d4 and black plays d5, white responds with c4. You can see that black can take the white pawn. This is an example of a gambit where one side gives away a bit of material and hopes to get a lot more back. Let's say that black is greedy and accepts the gambit. White plays e3, immediately trying to get this pawn back with the bishop. Now, what if white, the black wants to defend this pawn even more with a move like b5? Then, we can play a4. The purpose of this move is that if black takes the a pawn and our bishop takes the c4 pawn, it will be very hard for black to defend his pawn on a4. Even if he tries something like bishop to d7, I hope you can see that you can also do knight to c3, attacking the pawn again. So what if he defends this pawn? Now I'll be showing you some traps if he plays a6 or c6. Let's start with a6. So if he plays a6, I hope that you can see that after white takes the b5 pawn and white black takes back, we can now take the a8 rook with our own rook. So what if black defends with c6? Well, there is another trap. So after we take this b5 pawn and he takes back, we can play queen f3, attacking the rook. And the, even though there is a way to defend his rook, it isn't a good way. He can play knight, c, knight to c6. And after we take his knight, he can play bishop to d7, saving his rook but losing a knight. You can see that's that how it's a really good trap that Y can use. Now, here is another trap, but let's just say that black is smart and does not accept the gambit and plays c6, defending his pawn. Now, white, if white plays knight to c3, trying to attack the pawn once more, we can simply play knight f6, defending it. Now, if white tries to be smart and play bishop to g5, trying to capture our knight and sooner winning our pawn, then we can simply play knight to e4, attacking this bishop. So, it would make sense for white to take this knight. But after we take back, how does white get his knight and bishop out? After all, the knight can go to f3 because the pawn will just take. And if he goes to h3, our bishop will take the knight. And after he takes back, he will have double pawns, which 
like I said in one of my past videos, I will be explaining in one of my coming videos. And so, how does he get his piece out? Well, let me give you a challenge. In this position, it's White's move, and White can checkmate, but in two moves. If you're White, how do you do so? The answer will be in my next video. That's it for today, and thank you for your time. If you enjoyed the content, please consider to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.